Today we're going to create a beauty image using Naturalite, the Canon R5, and the Canon RF 85 1.2. Lindsay Adler here, and I shoot a lot of beauty photography. But people often think it has to be complicated, a lot of expensive lighting and gear, but guess what? You can create a stunning beauty image using just natural light, as long as you know how to sculpt and shape that light. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite setups. Now let's talk a little bit about what I have going on here. I have the model faced at this moment straight onto a large window. So any window that you have, as long as the light is not direct through it. So you're looking for indirect or a cloudy day. Next, I place my subject inside a black V-flat. Now the V-flat we have here is one by V-flat World. Now what's nice about it is it's actually portable and collapsible. So if you're not working in a studio or a big space, maybe just a bedroom or a living room, it's great because you can collapse it, slide it under your bed or in a closet, and it doesn't need to take up your whole room. Now the V-flat is actually serving a couple purposes here. Now the first thing of course is it's giving us a nice clean black background, which is going to work great against her very blonde hair. It's going to create a lot of contrast and a lot of drama. But the other thing that it's doing is the way that I've closed it around her, it's actually acting as something called negative fill. Negative fill prevents the bounce of light. It absorbs light. So I have this big flat window in front of her, which really lights her entire face. But adding the negative fill on either side of her face, it carves out her cheekbones and her jawlines. It gives a little bit more pop and definition to the image. So let me tell you a little bit about my camera and how I have it set up. Now I'm going to be using this 85 at 1.2, maybe 2.0, in other words, a really wide aperture, because I'm going to kick that V-flat out of focus and I really want the attention just to be on her eyes. So on my camera, I make sure that I have set the face and eye tracking. So the camera is doing the work for me and it's focusing on the eye closest to the camera. From there, I have set my camera to exposure simulation. So as I change my aperture or my shutter speed or my ISO, it's actually showing me how changing those elements are affecting my exposure. It makes it so that I can work very quickly uh, during my portrait sessions. I can adapt quickly to changing light. As I look at this image, I see that there's a lot of potential to make it uh, moody, dramatic, really connect with the camera. And I don't think color is really adding anything to the shot. So I know that I will eventually make it black and white. And I actually prefer to be able to visualize it in camera. And that's one of the things that's really nice about the electronic viewfinder. I'm going to go in and change my picture style. I'm going to go from standard, right, normal color. I'm going to change it to monochromatic. And by changing it to monochromatic, I can actually preview the image in black and white as I'm shooting it. It really helps me to visualize the shot. Now you might think that this setup really doesn't have much variability. Basically flat light with the subject on towards the window. But if you move yourself the camera and rotate the model, you can create something dramatic and sculptural. So take a look. If I have my subject face straight on towards camera, it is stunning, gorgeous flat light, really minimal shadows. Basically you just see a little bit of shadow under the nose, maybe a little bit underneath the chin, but it's extremely flat light. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move myself and I'm going to come around to the side so that the window is further off to the side, it's not behind me, and I'm gonna turn my subject. Now what I can see is I've introduced Rembrandt light on her face. You can actually see the little triangle of light underneath her eye right there. And so this gives me far more dramatic results. And let me take a shot to show you what I'm working with. Chin down just a little, good. So as I shoot, you'll see me move around from flat on to the camera with the, the light behind me, so it's flat light, to moving around for more dramatic results. And you know, I like to be able to see this in camera, see the black and white, see the mood, because all of a sudden I see more dramatic light and I think more dramatic posing and expression fits what I'm going for in the shot. The beauty images that we created here are elegant and they're dramatic, but what I love most about them, to share with all of you, is that they just take natural light and one lens. Now, if you'd like to see the gear used in the making of these images, be sure to check out the links in the description below or visit adorama.com. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I have so, so many more videos all about beauty and fashion and gear, all of that coming your way. See you next time, guys.